Hi everyone, welcome to Jensen DIY. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be installing the Timbrin Suspension Enhancement System. Okay, now depending on the type of truck you have, they make different kinds. This is going to go on an F-250. Basically these are just a bump stop on steroids. They're a good heavy duty bump stop for your truck to take that extra weight. Okay, save you having to upgrade to airbag suspension or um, adding extra leaf springs, upgrading to a one ton truck. We're planning on uh, getting a camper for our truck and uh, we wanted to have something to support the extra weight. Also good for fifth wheels, even pulling a travel trailer, just anything with extra weight, okay? We carry firewood in the truck too. I have no affiliation with Timbered. I'm not getting anything for this. This is just an honest review. So, I mean, if you enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button down in the right hand corner. That'd be great if you could do that. And at the end of the video, I am going to have footage of the truck carrying a, a good load, a cord of firewood, mostly green wet wood. Uh, so that's, that's a good amount of weight there. That's over a ton. So, so I'm going to go get geared up and let's go get these things installed. All right. Okay, so I've got it raised up, but I don't have the tires off the ground. You see, I just raised the back up. And then I got a brace there just in case this fails. But like I said, the tires are still on the ground. So even if this came down, it would still be safe. Just drop a few inches. There's the stock bump stop there. Same on the other side. So if you're planning on taking the tires off to do this, then you definitely want to use jack stands. I'm choosing to leave the tires on. I'm going to get down under there and... Uh, loosen this off. There's a bolt up above here. So this is a 15 mil socket on here. And there's the other one there. Oh, the bolt's up top. That's on there pretty good. But... Got a pipe wrench on here. Want to spin on me. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut that bolt and I'll probably have to do the same on the other side. It's spinning and it's just really awkward under here. So I'm just going to get the saws all and I'm going to do it from the outside and just now that I got it loosened off, I'm just going to zip that bolt and get her done. So I'm just going to cut right between the top of this and the frame and hit that bolt in there and that'll get this off of here. Yeah, so there's the original bump stop. And that's what's going in its place. So much more heavy duty for sure. Three different size bolts, a couple bigger washers, a couple smaller washers, and four lock washers. And two lock nuts. Okay, so all the bolts are 9 sixteenths. First thing we're gonna do is mount this bracket. So we want our shortest bolt, a lock washer, and the smaller flat washer. This has a thread in it right here. So we wanna get that thread started. There we go. So you can see that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that on there. Making sure this stays straight. I wanna get that nice and snug. I didn't see any torque specs in there. Tight as I can get it. Don't wanna go over tight, but nice and snug. There we go. That's good. Okay, easier to show you this out here. So, we've got our bump stop and we got our spacer, which you don't have to use. You want to have a half inch to one and three quarter inch gap once you've lowered the truck. Take a large washer and a lock washer. Put the long bolt through. 
That's going to go in there. Okay, so it's like that. And then you just want to put that up through and put your lock nut on top. Probably easier to put this on from the tire side. So change of plan, looking at that gap, I think this spacer is going to be too much. So we're going to leave these out and see how it looks when I lower the truck. And uh, if I have to put them back on, then I will. But I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need these. Yeah, so I need to use the shorter bolt now. Okay, that's good and solid now. Yeah, so you can see the gap here. It's about two and a half inches. Once I lower the truck, there's only gonna be a little bit of a gap. So that's why I left out the spacer. But uh, you know, I can always put it back. It made it a lot easier to fasten on without the, the uh, spacer too, so. Okay, I'm gonna get the other side done and then I'll show you uh, when I lower the truck what it looks like. So there's the driver's side installed. Passenger side over there, we did first. Now I'm gonna lower this down, I'll let you guys watch. I'll set you up so you can see how it comes down. Okay, I'm gonna go lower it down. That's good, we got about a half an inch to one inch gap there. That's what we want. Then when the weight gets put in the truck, it'll come down and push on this. Same on the other side there. Perfect. So there we go. That is a cord, a full cord. Not much sag. Let's see. There it is. I've had lots of cords of firewood on this truck, and it has never sat that well with that much of a load on it. Over a ton. Probably closer to a ton and a half. So this is definitely going to carry a camper fine. A bit of sag, but not much. There it is, passenger side. Yeah, so I don't think it'll have any problem carrying a camper now, with those, especially with those timbrens on there. So I will post a picture when I get the camper on it. But um, you can see, this is more weight than the camper we're gonna get. So I think they'll be just fine. You get your timbren sticker. Welcome to the family. It would be easier to take the tires off. It took me a couple hours to do this, so. It would definitely be easier to take the tires off uh, just for ease of doing the job, but it really wasn't that hard. The hardest part was just getting the old ones off. So, but I do like this style that bolt on. I've seen other videos where it's just a friction fit and that just holds it in place. I like the idea of having the bolt for sure. Then you know you're never gonna lose it at least. I'm gonna save these and uh, if I end up thinking I need them after I get a few loads on there, then I might put them on. Pretty simple product to install and uh, pretty simple in the way it works. You know, there's really no maintenance to them. You just put them on there and then they do the job. Anyways, I hope the video helped you out. I've got lots of other DIY videos, so if you enjoyed this one, hit that subscribe and then you'll know when my other ones come up. All right, thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.